Well, hello and welcome to Eco Farm. This is episode 21. And in this episode, we are starting off by building our first orchard. It's going to be pears. And we're building it um, between the fields of wheat that we created. I don't know if you recall, but when I was making the last two fields, I said I was going to leave a bit of a space and there you can pretty much see it between the fields for oh, expansion of the farm, I suppose you want to call it that. I've decided to put an orchard in there, pear orchard. And we're going to just go and have a look for it. Where is it? Should be in productions under orchards. And this will be part of the same mod that we've been using for our big greenhouses and there's a couple of different I think there's some apricot orchards and there's plum orchard and uh, apple orchard we will I have a plan for those which will come to fruition in the next couple of episodes hopefully now it's just a question of how we're going to place this here it's not going to fit in perfectly it's going to do a little bit of landscaping but I think if we bring it sort of closer down to the bottom here it should it should be okay there's really no, nothing that will um, that will interfere with there yeah that looks okay right so we need the normal water um, plant and fruit fertilizer and we would also need to put in some compost now our compost is ready so we'll be using our own compost for the first time for this for this orchard I was going to say this greenhouse <laughs> couldn't couldn't think of what the right word was orchard yeah so we'll go and uh, get ourselves organized we'll load up some compost from the compost camp I think first of all what we need to do is um, we'll need to put the front loader on and I think we will we'll have to buy a bucket I don't think we have a bucket so that'll have to be bought. In any case, let's get this all organized. We're going to have to put the weights on the... transfer the weight from the front of the tractor to the back of the tractor. Shouldn't take too long. I've got to... I nearly went in again. You can see I went into the field and destroyed the field there. I think I was parking one of the trailers. I've got to be more careful of that. You'll see most of the little fields have got little corners chopped off. We've um, been going around too fast with the tractors and trailers and we're cutting the corners and we're losing crop. <laughs> uh, I mean it's not a huge amount but it's enough to uh, to be mindful of. Right, let's just drop off the pallet fork and we'll buy the universal bucket, 1600 pounds. That's good enough for us. Does mean a little bit of shoveling of compost, so to speak. But until we can afford to buy a um, conveyor belt, it's just the way we're going to have to do it. It's going to take a bit of time. But everything takes a bit of time on this farm. Small equipment. We can't really put huge bucket on the, on this uh, this tractor. There we go. It's all blanketed up. Well, now I just hope that it's actually. Did I check? I can't remember. I, I don't think I checked to see whether it was ready, but I think it is ready. 
I'm pretty sure it's ready. In any event, let's go and hook up the bucket first. Then we'll park off the trailer. In a convenient spot for loading. Somewhere around about here, I think. Looks good enough. Just checking to see whether the bucket was in the right condition. I think it's the right one. Pretty sure I bought it for, for the front loader. Yeah, there we go. Right, let's get started. Guessing we're going to have to uncover this like we would with uh, silage. The principle is exactly the same, really. Although I did notice that it did seem to compact quite quickly. Maybe, maybe that was because I didn't have an awful lot. Oh, it looks nice. Looks like compost. Let's get going. We'll load this up and then we'll show you the rest of the loading process. It's pretty much going to be 12 buckets into the, to fill up the uh, trailer. It's 1200 litre trailer. Each, each bucket is a uh, A 12,000 litre trailer, should I say. Each bucket is a 1,000 is a litres. So it'll be 12 of those. We'll just show you the whole operation, but we'll do it on a, on a time lapse. We'll speed it up. There we go. I'm quite happy with the compost and how it's worked out. Um, I think I may have mentioned in the last episode, I don't think we're ever going to be fully self-sufficient on the compost because, um, well, we can only get the, the material to make the compost from the greenhouses and it takes quite a while for that to accumulate for the um, organic matter to accumulate to put into the compost so we will still have to buy in compost but we won't have to buy in everything there will be times when we can use our own we're going to load this up now 12,000 litres we'll put that into the orchard and then at a later stage I will uh, just clear the the clamp and distribute it between the other two greenhouses even the probably won't show that but we will clear the whole camp uh, camp there we go this should be the last one back down to normal speed yeah this whole episode is pretty much about uh, about orchard and greenhouses because um, once we've got this job done we will uh, Put in those other two greenhouses, the other two, the mushroom greenhouse and the flower greenhouse. Um, as mentioned in the last episode, I think it would be prudent to have two of each, simply because then we can use a one water trailer in each location and fill both of them up. I don't want to. Do, I'd love to. I'm really tempted to do like ten of them because they bringing so much income but that wouldn't be it wouldn't be fitting for what we're doing at the moment right let's get this loaded up and taken to the um, orchard let's get going Here we go whoa wheelie 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 <laughs> forgot to forgot to change the uh, um, the weight around Put it on the front and rather the back. Oh dear. Well, it made for a nice little bit of uh, ex 
excitement, let's put it that way. Nothing like wheeling your tractor. Well, especially if you're not doing a tractor pull or something like that. <laughs> uh, as you can see there, our organic matter bins are empty. They do take a while to fill up. This is the first, uh, the first lot of compost that we've used since the beginning of the game. Or the beginning of the series, should I say. It's a little bit tight, but it's not too bad. This equipment is perfect for, for here. So we have to compost at the back. And then we've got the fertilizer at the back of the shed in the dark green containers and we've got the water in the blue containers on the side of the shed. And of course with the pears we will have to clear and take them to the market every every month, being fresh product. So we're not going to wait until uh, Crates and crates have accumulated and the price is at, the, at its best, we will be selling it every month. Some months the price will be good and some months it won't be. I'm not quite sure whether the, um, whether the production is seasonal on, on the orchards. They should be, but I'm not sure. We'll have to just wait and see as we go along. I haven't tested it. Right. I don't quite know where I was going to there. I want to go and get the trailer. I know what happened is I was going to go and I looked for it in the sheds and I've decided to start parking the trailer next to the water to the water source. Just to start making a bit of space for future. Uh, the greenhouses are okay, still for water I think. Yeah they're right. Yeah, they're good enough for this month. We'll just put water into the into the orchard. And then we will uh, we'll, well, we'll, we'll, we'll still have to get uh, fertilizer, won't we? Plant and vegetable organic fertilizer. I'm glad that this um, this mod had that different fertilizer available for for use, simply because otherwise I don't think I'd really w would have been able to use the mod because we would have had to use um, either liquid fertilizer or granular fertilizer, which I don't really want to use on on this series so pretty pretty glad that they had that built into this mod so we'll just leave 10,000 liters of water in there that should keep us going for a couple of months fantastic we just need to go and pick up the trailer. We'll have to um, make it into a flatbed. Take the sides off. We need to need to pick up some. I think um, how many? Yeah, we'll put in two two um, IBCs of fertilizer. I think that's what I've done in the other ones, and that's kind of filled them up. Quite expensive the, uh, the vegetable and uh, fruit um, fertilizer. Where is it now? There it is. Fruit and vegetable fertilizer. Two thousand nine hundred. Well, it's cheaper than liquid fertilizer. Yeah, so not. Oh, shouldn't shouldn't be complaining. <laughs> uh, 
Oh dear. Well, you need two of those to get them loaded up and then we'll go and uh, put them into the orchard. And that should be the orchard ready for production, really. Just use a bit of super strength. Good stuff. It does cost us a little bit to have the product delivered to the to the farm, but um, especially because we don't have a very fast tractor, the Hurleyman doesn't exactly break any speed records. Um, it does make it more efficient just to have it delivered to the farm. I thought I'd be able to get more in here, but it, it gets a little bit steep towards the back of this area. I'll find something else to use it for. I'm talking about the area behind the behind the orchard and between the two um, fields. Might still be able to squeeze a couple of things in down at the bottom here. We'll see. Won't be any fields, but right. Let's go and get this activated and get it started so that we can get some crop to sell next month. Right, where are we going? Oh, I expected it to be in the front. It's not. It's probably, probably here. Yep, yeah, there we go. Activate pears. So it takes water. Yeah, that's fine. Seem to be okay there. And it's working. Good stuff. Pears. The town will have pears in the next month. I'm sure they'll be happy. Right, next up, we'll go and hook up the water ta tanker and we will build our um, extra or the additional mushroom greenhouse and flower greenhouse. And then we should be okay on for supplying mushrooms and flowers. And just increase our we'll increase our daily our daily profit if you want to call it or our daily financial turnover money turnover they are pretty profitable because all they take is water and the water we get free from our dam so quite happy with that Right, let's get going. Yes, yeah, so we found out in the last episode that the flowers and the mushrooms are pretty lucrative. So we're going to try and get these to do two cycles a, a month so we will fill them up in the mornings and then in the evenings before we close down we will fill them up again we'll just probably have to move stock out of the production area I'm not sure if they would store or not but to be safe we'll just move it out and then we should get it we should have get a good bit of uh, turnover, money turnover going every month to um, to help us grow because with the, with the pigs 
we get back to pigs again <laughs> with the pigs it's um it's been a little bit um it's been a little bit tight on the money front oh dear i was talking too much and not concentrating on so that's landscaped a little bit oh it's not funny but uh, th i think we're about to get away with just smoothing it it'll be a little bit rough but it is a farm track so not to worry about it we'll just do a bit of smoothing out it won't be as uh, smooth it might be might be a slight a, sl a slight camber to the road <laughs> hope it's not too bad let's see if we can get away with just smoothing it out a bit Right, I'll put this onto a time lapse as well. Just it always takes a little bit of time. Yeah, it looks like it's working. Yeah, that's fine. It doesn't look as harsh as uh, it did a little while ago. Let's put it that way. Just smooth out the whole little area there. Oh, that's fine. That's perfect. Quite happy with that. Well, I haven't driven on it yet. <laughs> right, let's get the water in and then we'll get that going. And then we've got our second mushroom greenhouse done just got the flower one to do right that's it done yeah we still got the 5,000 liters oh boy you know what I forgot to do I'll just we'll just run on back forgot to activate it didn't I it's not gonna help we've got there tomorrow morning or uh, next month and uh, we still haven't done it it's not very cl clever it's quite stupid actually <laughs> I don't know what I was doing there. In the event, we are back here to activate. Whoa, stop. Too many things going on in my mind now. I've really got to get my head around being able to stop that. Uh, that water tanker really pushes me around a bit. There we go, that's it done. It's just wasted a bit of time, hasn't it? Right, let's get over to the flower area now and go and get that one sorted out. At least we know we don't have to travel too far to get there well it is it's pretty much at the other end of the farm isn't it but yeah it's all about trying to utilize these little bits of area while still maintaining I say this every time a bit of a broken record on that thing maintaining uh, wildlife corridors so I think this one we'll just put directly behind it just leave enough room to be able to work in the front. There we go. And it was the flower greenhouse. Yep, it was the flower nursery greenhouse.
townsfolk always like it, like their flowers, so might as well supply it to them. Look, do we have to get it exactly in line? <laughs> I think I think I should have the water on the other side. Yeah, that's better. And then, of course, the collection point will be on the same side as well. I am thinking that it might be worthwhile cutting down that tree and replanting another tree somewhere else, maybe with that other little cluster on the right hand side there. Just replanting a tree there, just to make it a little bit easier for us. As I say, I'm loath to cut down any trees on the map. Rather try and work around them. But that was a little bit of a mistake on that first uh, greenhouse. Well, there's the second one built. Let's get the some water into that. Get it activated. Have some more nice colorful flowers. I wonder if it would have fitted on the other side of the road. I didn't think of that. We would have had sort of a flower greenhouse on each side of the road as we come into the farm area. Not going to change it now, that's for sure. Let's get that activated. And there we go. Flowers are on the go. Well, I think that's where we're going to end this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio.